So in this video, I'm going to show you a, uh, some websites uh, in particular. I will, I'm going to start with this website called matrixcalc.org. You can see the, uh, uh, the uh, web link here. And I've opened up the page. Um, it's got several little uh, buttons here with links to various parts of the website. The most important thing, uh, let's start with the first thing, sorry, which is the actual matrix calculations. So here you see uh, the possibility of entering two different matrices. And of course, you can change the size by just clicking on the number of cells increasing or decreasing as you see fit. So for instance, I can start entering the values. So here, for instance, I have this matrix uh, values all entered. Now I can just click and uh, very quickly get Oh, by the way, yes, you can also change the decimal places, so I've removed that for now. So if I go and find the inverse of this matrix, there you can see uh, the actual inverse uh, calculated here. Now, uh, in the same way, you can also click on this and just look at the rank of the matrix. Again, very quickly calculated. Uh, transpose of the matrix. And uh, you can look at the LU decomposition. Now, I find that very useful for anybody doing any numerical analysis, especially. Uh, so this is a very nice little calculator for getting LU decomposition and notice that it can do it for any size of matrix as well. So the best part, one of the great uh, features of this particular website that is really good for, uh, uh, for anybody, but especially for students, is the amazing work done here where you actually see the steps um, in, in fact, and here you see in green he's identifying the uh, multiples which he then puts in here as you can see. So it's excellent. This website it really needs to be, the people who built this really need to be applauded. I mean, they've done a great service uh, for mathematics and especially for uh, learning for students, in fact. So uh, you can see the whole row operations as the matrix reduces and you get the upper triangular one here and the lower triangular one over here. So that's, uh, that's one part of it. Uh, of course, it also calculates the determinant for you. So we just calculate the press that and you get the determinant. As I said, this is a very useful support website. Now you can enter a second matrix over here and then look at, for instance, um, uh, the product of two matrices, a sum or the, uh, or by the way, you can come up with your own equation here, matrix equation and get the result for that as well. So that's quite excellent. Now, if we move to the other uh, link on this website, it's to do with solving systems of linear equations. Now, in this case, if I were to reduce this, for instance, you can increase or reduce uh, the system that you want. So if I go to a two by two system, so we can quickly look at a demonstration. Um, so here you will see uh, if I enter this matrix, how quick it is to do this. Now you can uh, use uh, using the inverse matrix method. You can use Gaussian elimination. I prefer that, of course. And here's if, as you see Gaussian elimination, it actually gives you uh, the solution down here. But what's very nice is if you see again, so very illustratively showing you, here's the pivot element and how they actually, what's the um, uh, multiple used and how the elimination process takes place and what actually was the row operation performed. And as it reduces, the back substitution is also shown and I've gives you the final answer for zero. Now, of course, you can go Gauss-Jordan. And if you do Gauss-Jordan, it'll go up and um, clean up the matrix and become uh, make it into an identity matrix. So again, very beautiful. Uh, not only does it gives you the g just give you the answer, but actually illustratively explains and goes through the steps, and quite in detail. In fact, so uh, again, uh, shout out to the people who made this website. Thank you so much for this. So here we go. Here's another uh, another part of the website, which is the eigenvalue calculator. Again extremely useful for anybody working in mathematics, mainly linear algebra, of course, and uh, numerical analysis. So if you're doing those courses, this is a very good website. Uh, I, I can't reiterate this enough. Anyway, so just press find and there you go. Uh, again, as I say, characteristic polynomial. Look, here's the determinant. The characteristic polynomial is shown here. Even the factorization has been shown and you finally see what your uh, eigenvalues are and from this of course you can for instance calculate um, the uh, uh, spectral radius for instance uh, as an example um, that's uh, really uh, uh, all I want to say about this particular website um, 
Right, so this is another online tool it's called easycalculation.com. Now, it may have other things on it, but my main interest here was, uh, for instance, how do we do Lagrangian interpolation? And uh, basically, it's a very good calculator. I've tested it, it works quite well. Here's uh, an example uh, of how it works. So you enter the number of points, as I've already done here, four. So you enter the number of points, and then you enter the points, the x value and the y value. So I've entered these for a particular problem. You just press calculate, and what it does is actually gives you a very nice solution because it gives you, in fact, the, um, there you can see, for instance, the, the point uh, one, for instance, the y point, and multiplied by the uh, cardinal uh, function, the Lagrangian uh, functions, in other words. So you can see all of that, and the best part is it actually gives you the in fact the uh, interpolation here and I've checked that that is actually correct not only that but it also gives you a little graph to show you what your uh, function uh, is graphed as as well so in case you uh, have the data points so a very useful site does Lagrange interpolation uh, very well in fact I think here's another very nice website by uh, UCLA math.ucla.edu here the the web link is uh, up here you can see that now uh, what it does is I've already entered I've already entered the points, so you can see the X values are entered along this first row so I've chosen to set up a table for five values five data points so here you have the the five data points the X values and these are your Y values now all you have to do is press calculate Newton's divided difference and presto you've got uh, all you need simplify now this is already done this is zero but you'll have to open up some brackets here and do some simplifications and that will get you your polynomial but it is one of the best uh, uh, sites I could find for doing Newton's divided difference very illustrative very straightforward start okay so um, now, in the previous website, Newton's, Newton's divided differences, you saw the long polynomial. There, I'll show it to you again. Um, you can copy this right over here into this other website, which I also want to recommend, which is uh, uh, Sim actually it's Symbolic Mathematics, so it's Symbolab. Very nice website. Just uh, copy and paste here, and this function here is called Simplify. So just copy and paste here, press Go, this is really good if you're weak in algebra also it shows you the steps uh, as you slowly expand and but for anybody want just to see the end result there you go at the end of the day that's the that's the final fourth order polynomial that fits the data from the divided differences so again as I said a lot of these very helpful tools are available online and thanks to some uh, generous work of some very good people these are available mostly for free the ones I've shown you are all free so far this is another one this is for numerical integration that I've discovered is uh, very useful uh, quite easy to work around so basically you can go into for instance uh, tra the trapezoidal rule and a nice little introduction shows you the formula uh, little illustration and you just enter uh, whatever you want to integrate over here so for instance uh, if I put limits 1 to 3 and execute this uh, it essentially gives you um, here the partitions and of course the uh, the trapezoidal uh, integral so the integral actually the, the result now I personally am more keen on the Romberg integration in this particular website it's quite uh, nice the, uh, the one you want to go for is not Romberg integration but Romberg array so if you go for the Romberg array what happens is you can say the number of partitions you want which is the um, n in fact uh, so with the n 2 to the power n and uh, now if you use trapezoidal as a starting point and go for 10 digit that's reasonable you can execute this and it actually gives you your Romberg table this is very cool uh, there you go the the table now is 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 there up to the eight values which are going out of the screen in fact so uh, anyway uh, so that's how that one works so very good uh, for any numerical integration this is uh, kaizen casio.com kaizen online calculator uh, it has some I haven't registered but you don't have to which is very good uh, again I really appreciate it and we thank the, the creators of the website for doing a very good job 
and having a very useful, um, helpful calculator for math students.